Have CSP spent too long on virtualization, and is it now time to look beyond NFE and get serious about cloud native? But are these technologies, developed by and for the cloud providers, really suitable for CSPs, or do they need to be adapted? And how should they best be incorporated into a telecoms network? Wholesale change or a hybrid approach? The promise that uh, cloud native uh, deployments uh, bring is precisely the idea that they are much more elastic. And this is one of the reasons, well, the main reason why uh, we, uh, we embrace originally the movement, the movement towards virtualization is uh, this elasticity both potentially allow us to, uh, uh, to take better advantage of the infrastructure, provide better services at, at a lower cost and enhance automation, etc. So it's an it's a, uh, ideal situation. So uh, embracing the cloud native movements is the natural net, next step in the virtualization uh, uh, journey. You know, networks and other s functions and solutions in the past really have not been able to scale as at the pace of business. And in order for us to take advantage of all the other changes in technologies, we need solutions and application sets that are cloud native. Even the current functions that have been virtualized really haven't been virtualized in a cloud native fashion because today uh, they may have been defined in software, but the infrastructure that's also needed to change really hasn't been considered when the virtualization happened with NFEs. I think it's very important that we pursue the cloud native stage um, because really the on-demand promise for the end customer and we are talking about B2B or wholesale customers here mainly uh, so this on-demand promise will be achieved only if we are in a cloud native environment. I think it's the time now to take a step back and think about all the learning we learned from NFV I think how do we really need to tackle the challenges we're still seeing in the industry with the cloud native and Kubernetes frameworks and CNCF projects into delivering a solutions that's suitable for everybody. And this is really what we're trying to do in CNTT. Effectively, instead of each operator taking their, uh, their own path into a uh, cloud journey, we said, okay, let's sit together, think about the problems we're facing as industry, learn from our own learnings we had from NV, and think about how do we tackle those challenges in a consistent way, so everyone really get the value of the collaboration we're having. Cloud native technologies are uh, a, a very uh, important part of our future, especially uh, in, uh, in, in the view of 5G, where we are working uh, as team uh, on, 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 this, on this topic with, with very uh, high intensity. What we are doing on network automation, and especially on the IP transport automation, it's a part of this cloud native world. You know, the promise of cloud native technologies, it's, it's a compelling value proposition, right? Um, as our container implementations as well, and then Kubernetes as an orchestration element or things. Um, even the OpenStack folks are now supporting both VMs and containers, right? So you've got a bunch of things coming together in here. Uh, when you look at efficiencies from it, there's a promise when people look at the cloud service providers and say, hey, those guys have been making this cloud native model work. In the telco space from a network operator, we're moving to telco cloud implementations. We had to be able to use some of this. A container is like virtualizing an operating system. Right? So it gives you it gives you more flexibility. You know, it gives you you know faster start up times. It it lowers your uh, it lowers your costs. Now, if all of that is true, you might say, why did you bother with you know the you know the with the traditional VNFs? Huh? Well, we we actually did that because. Uh, none of the um, virtualized functions which we were using or which we are using today are completely cloud native ready today. And so there is no, it, is, it, it, it doesn't really work very well to say I'll take you know, a function which hasn't been designed to be cloud native to be deployed in a cloud native uh, way. So and I think that's where we are starting to see the vendors making changes. They are starting to move into that way. And as soon as these applications are ready, we'll start to deploy them as well you know, in a, in a cloud, native, uh, cloud native way as well. We spend uh, far too long in virtualization so far. If you look at other industries like uh, IT, they embrace cloud native technologies in the speed you can't even imagine. And we haven't even begun thinking about standardizing this technology. So I think we, there's really a lot to catch up on in that field. But in the meanwhile, to be quite pragmatic uh, with the level of maturity of the ecosystem, of the technology, 
and still to pursue the industrialization of the NFV stage. So that's why we, we still, in, of course, invest in this uh, and we consider that it's a nice and smart step, uh, not trying to leapfrog to the cloudification, which could be another strategy, but would probably jeopardize short-term business. I mean, looking into the future, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is where the, tech, the, the industry will go over time. But, uh, I mean, being honest and, and transparent for us, uh, we just need to deliver the basic network virtualization. So, so for us, it's, it's really not uh, a, a top priority in our agenda. We just want to uh, launch the initial wave of network virtualization, support the current services uh, that we have and use cases. And, 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 yeah, I mean, for sure, something to come in the future. So the the promise of cloud native, though, is to help make your network more efficient, make it more nimble, make it more scalable. And that, there's a lot of work happening in that space. It's another exciting space, and I think there'll be more to come in a few years.